All right, good morning, class. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to write and how to become better writers. Uh, the way we're going to do that is I'm going to be using the technique called TAWA. T-A-W-A. Think about and then write about. So I'm going to think aloud about the prompt that we have, and then I'm going to write about the prompt. And you're going to love this because you're going to have a chance to see me make some mistakes. You're going to hear me talk about my writing, and hopefully that will help you in turn to understand the writing process. Uh, before we begin our Tawa technique, I have a math question for you. Now, I know this is ELA, but I have a math question. If I have 10,000 people and I can put 52 people on a bus, okay? I need to get all 10,000 people on buses, but each bus holds 52 people. How many buses do I need for 10,000 people? Take a minute, talk to your partners. You got your calculator, you can get that out super quick. Figure out for me, I have 10,000 people, I have 52 passenger buses, how many people, or how many buses rather, how many buses do I need for 10,000 people? Yeah, go ahead with your answer. Yes, absolutely, that is 100, and 94 buses. So why did I start with a math problem here when I'm trying to teach you the Tawa technique? I started with a math problem because that takes us right into our writing prompt today. The Kinder Transport that we read about in our article from our StoryWorks magazine, the Kinder Transport saved 10,000 Jewish people. So to just help you to understand what 10,000 looks like, we would need 194 buses full of people, and that would equal 10,000 children. And that's how many children the Kinder Transport saved. So that takes us into our writing prompt. The Kinder Transport is a remarkable feat. In what ways do you think it's remarkable? and support your answer with text evidence from the story. Okay, so I'm gonna take a look at this prompt. This prompt has three sentences. The first thing it's asking me is to re reflect on a remarkable feat. And I know it's not the feet on the bottom of my legs, so it's the other feet, which means it was a remarkable achievement feet meaning achievement. All right, so this kinder transport is remarkable. I know it's a remarkable feat because they saved 10,000 children. In what ways do you think it's remarkable? Well, I know it is because it, ha it saved 10,000 children. Let's see, what else do I know about it? Well, I know it was just people in Great Britain who put it together and wanted to help, so I also know that. Those are pretty remarkable things that an ordinary person would say, I want to help. I want to save these children because this is bad. What is happening to the Jewish children is bad. I want to be a part of making it better. So those two things make it remarkable. It, they saved 10,000 kids and it was just ordinary, common British people coming together to make this happen. I need to support that answer with some evidence from the text. And I know it says those things in my text. I have my text handy so I can double check on that too. All right, so let's build our paragraph. And I'm going to build that paragraph over here. Now I need to first uh, restate this first sentence here so I can figure out a paragraph that's going to answer this prompt appropriately. So I'm focusing right on the question. In what ways do you think it's remarkable? I know my, te my teacher once told me I should avoid using you and I in my responses, that it makes a stronger case. 
So I want to avoid that. So I'm going to start right off with the kinder transport. The kinder transport. Oop, I already have a misspelling. Look at that. Ha ha. I'm sure you love that. All right, the kinder transport is a remarkable feat. And I'm going to go ahead and use that word because. The kinder transport is a remarkable feat because what were the two things I said? Yep, right, all right. 10,000 children were saved. Ten thousand children were saved, and it was. I don't want to say made of. It was made of. It was. It was ran by. It was started by. Let's see. The Kinder Transport is a remarkable feat because ten thousand children were saved, and it was. Um, I'll go with made up of for now. Uh, British citizens. You know what? I can actually combine this into one, and I think that would sound a lot better. Um, I'm going to put it right here because uh, regular British citizens saved... Okay, here's my carrot. I want that in there because regular British citizens say 10,000 children. And I'm going to stop that right there. So right there, I have two things in my uh, beginning sentence. Okay, so I am writing about what I already thought about. The Kinder Transport is a remarkable feat because regular British citizens save 10,000 children. So I need to support that with text. So I'm going to say in the text, the author states, I cannot forget those quotation marks. Oh, so important. In the text, the author states uh, the kinder transport saved 10,000 children. Okay. All right. I need another sticky note here real quick. These post-its are a lifesaver. Super love my post-it notes. I got all sizes. All right, there we go. All right, moving on. Okay. Then I'm going to say uh, the author continues. Look, another misspelling to explain. The author continues to explain that ordinary citizens ran the transport. Another misspelling. Ha, that's three for those of you who are keeping track. See, even your teachers make mistakes. All right, so let's take a look at what we have for our start of the paragraph. And please make note that I did indent. I do love when you do that for me. Uh, the kinder transport is a remarkable feat because regular British citizens saved 10,000 children, period. Period goes here, not here. Okay, in the text, the author states the kinder transport saved 10,000 children. The author continues to explain that ordinary citizens ran the transport. OK, 
Okay, so the fact that so many kids were saved and the fact that it was just normal, ordinary citizens doing this is what really makes that remarkable. So I want to make sure I have that in my paragraph. So I'm going to make sure my conclusion restates exactly what this prompt is asking me for. It's asking me how the kinder transport is remarkable. So I want to make sure uh, my, my conclusion goes directly back to this prompt, okay? And I want people to know it's my conclusion, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that transition to conclude. The kinder transport, I spelled it right this time. To conclude, the kinder transport is remarkable because Regular people saved thousands of children. And I have, I really like that I use this word regular because I want to make sure that everyone understands or the reader understands that this is so remarkable because it was done by regular, ordinary people. So I like that I have that. And I used a synonym because I had ordinary here. So I was able to use a synonym for that. So it, it really drives that point home. So to conclude, the kinder transport is remarkable because regular people saved thousands of children. All right, so my finished paragraph is, the kinder transport is a remarkable feat because regular British citizens save 10,000 children. In the text, the author states the kinder transport saved 10,000 children. The author continues to explain that ordinary citizens ran the transport. To conclude, the kinder transport is remarkable because regular people saved thousands of citizens. So that is the Tawa technique, and you'll be seeing this a lot more in class. Uh, so I have the opportunity to think aloud, and you can hear my process, and it will help you with your process. And then you'll go ahead and pay attention as we write our paragraph, so you'll understand how the thinking and the writing process go together. Okay? All right, now get out your notebooks, and you're going to try this prompt for yourselves.